Okay, let's begin. It's not difficult. Trust me. I'm going to use SD size doll. This is 62 centimeter body. Um, doll, ignore the head, is an artist made one. Um, so, the reason it's dressed because you need to dress your doll for the armor. Um, because the armor usually is not worn on a naked flesh. So I made this uh, like a t-shirt and we're going to use um, black it's the fake leather actually it's not even a fake leather it's like a vinyl it's got like a, like a gauzy tie back into it and obviously it's non-fray uh, you can say it's a uh, fake leather but I would refer to it as a vinyl to be honest Anyway, so I'm going to use this. Um, so how do you make a pattern? For armor it's really straightforward because it doesn't need to be fitted. The easiest way to fit your particular doll is using felt. So I was using felt. Um, you can trace the old t-shirt a pattern for the doll you already, for example, made a t-shirt before you got the pattern. You can use that. Or you can create quickly your own, depends what the style of the armor you want. So uh, uh, what I did, I just took, uh, because I don't have a pattern for this doll, uh, apart from the one I made myself, which was I think showed in the, uh, one of my old videos. Uh, so what I did is just take the felt and um, tape it, sellotape, uh, to, to place to the front, so it's kind of more or less fitted. And just use a pen or marker and draw on it how you want it. So you don't need to be dressed, obviously, like I said, and you need to create a pattern that way. So make sure you've got plenty of room under the arms because that's where it's kind of the dodgy connection going to happen. Um, you don't need to trace uh, this more than half on the side. So. So leave, it's not even half, I would say, or leave half for now, but this doesn't need to connect to the back because we're going to use um, a lace type connection uh, between the two parts. So it's going to be lace in here and here we're going to use a buckle connection. However, for shoulders connection, you don't need to have buckle you can substitute with even just strips of um, vinyl or leather whatever you're using uh, because as long as it goes through the head like that you don't need to worry about this obviously the size needs to be more or less kind of like not fitted not tailored but a bit more um, for the contour of the body to be honest this took me like about 15 minutes to make these felt pieces so then what I did just for future I just transferred them all into the paper um, version that's all that's what I did so I can use it again um, because felt obviously you know uh, not as easy to trace as the paper so what I did afterwards um, so I cut these pieces uh, from the my material I've got and um, I've got um, style in mind so I'm gonna be doing the leather type armor with the scales and for this reason um, the scales can't go on usually they don't go on to top of the torso on the chest they kind of finish here sometimes somewhere so if you look in um, pictures on the internet you can find the scale type um, armor they kind of like finish here somewhere so for this part you need to make something different which still need to be in line in terms of the have to be kind of um, doesn't look so basically it shouldn't look flat it should look um, as raised as the scales would be later I'll show what I did with them so what I did, I, I took these patterns I traced on the paper and obviously I actually folded them in half because I need I don't need the full thing. You can just fold in half and cut on fold. And I created um, 
like this creates a volume so as you see two pieces and then I cut them a bit smaller than uh, one of each and this is going to be applied like the same for the front so that's preparation for the scales you need to prepare um i don't know i cut about i don't know 30 40 of them got two piles of them so uh, the, the scale pattern uh, will be something like that the reason i like um scales is because they going hide the eyelets i'm gonna place in here so for eyelets if you never used if you know played with them to be honest it's really super super easy you take your eyelets and i've got these two tools so one is makes the holes apparently um i bought it from i don't know about from probably ebay but it's kind of rolls rolls and i think it's a hole punch it's called for leather, leather i'm not sure um, but loads of things on eBay and this is the I think this this is not the eyelid press I don't know what it's called anyway that looks like this <laughs> sorry I can't think of the names of the eyelid placer I don't know anyway so what I do first I make holes in here probably make four holes because he's quite a big guy um, so I need to make holes here here. So in order to, them to be perfect in terms of they need to kind of more or less uh, be on the same level. So what I'm going to do is just line them up. So making sure that they lined up here where the end of the sleeve. So under armpit. So I'm going to mark this area now. It doesn't mean I'm going to place the eyelet in there. So I marked where I'm going to put the eyelids, more or less <laughs> um, even, if not it doesn't matter, just a few millimeters out, it is not going to make any difference whatsoever. So I'm going to use the golden color eyelids, so I'll need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 16, uh, plus minus. <laughs> because some of them can be damaged quite easily so the eyelet needs to be placed not far from the edge probably about um, I would say half of centimeter or maybe max of centimeter out because if you put too far when you're gonna lace it um, it's not gonna look right on the sides because on the side it's gonna be slightly exposed where the lace is so I would say I will start making holes somewhere here. Don't worry if this doesn't make a hole properly because when you actually open it up um, you can slightly just nip it with the scissors. Because when you put the eyelet in it's going to be all hidden anyway. Okay, so with this tool, interesting, I made a mistake once, so I put this hole um, on, on the bottom here where the actually, you know, the, the actual eyelid nip. But it should be the other way around because it's just added and just stuck in here. So this should be like a blob should be on the bottom and this flat bead should be on the top. I'm not sure if it's the the right way to do it. That's how I do it. You can take a hammer and just hammer it down. Um, but I find this is quite all right. So just line it with the hole underneath and press it hard. You can hear the click sometimes. Yeah, here we go. I had the click and that's in. So it's definitely in. By the way, these lines can be just removed with the um, with the wipe. That's it. Go on. <laughs> so the most creative process begins now. With the um, scales, you need to start from the bottom, not from the top, from the bottom. If you want to add a skirt, like here, I have added the skirt, you need to start 
think about this now because once you apply the scales it will be very difficult to attach the skirt. I apply them straight so you don't need to apply them like this. You don't need to do that. You don't need to follow the shape. You literally apply them straight. So the way I applied them, I ensured that when it comes to the rivet, it's covered like this. You don't attach this fully, so you don't just stick it all like that. You only attach the top, so you, it can be lifted up and, and the lace um, can be thread through that eyelet. In terms of how and what you use to apply them, it depends on the material you use. Um, do not use hot glue gun, definitely not. From vinyl and f and folk, like a fake leather material, the hot glue just gonna, after a few months, it's just gonna peel off. That's no point. So I use all-purpose glue, this one, my favorite. Um, all-purpose adhesive. Um, Although, um, I what I did on this armor, for instance, so in this one I actually stitched it. So it's all stitched here. All of these plates are stitched. However, you don't need to do that. Um, this is just because that was the design of it. That's the plates, how they look like. For this particular one, um, also you could cheat and you can have a strip of vinyl or whatever material you use um, and just instead of cutting them like this, just um, you have them like a strip like that. So you just cut nip a little bit here, making sure you've got like a space in between them. However, it's not always appropriate because there are places here which will require um, separate pieces and I think this is more pretty when you have actually a little gap between them a little bit just tiny tiny amount um, so like I said are you gonna use the glue it can be stitched nope you can have a glue and stitch afterwards on the very top because this top part gonna be closed by this so it's in a brick layer manner you applying the scales like that so when it comes to the angles or like the edge i would say not angle the edge so you need to make sure you can just you know glue it like that and just afterwards you turn around you just cut that piece away because you don't need to have it you close you basically follow the edge that's how you apply the scale you stop scales here when this come into place so these parts you can stitch them up if you want this material this this particular one is so easy to stitch it's just amazing uh, the sewing machine loves it um, it has a grip and it doesn't slide and whatever um, what I did previously, I just put dots of glue and then I stitched them because it's basically hold together. Um, you can do it that way. So, yeah, like I said, at the moment just follow your desired um, style and apply the scales to the um, armor. Another point to, to think of is um, what the size of the scale do you want. So for SD size, it has to be something proportionate. I mean, for the, this particular one, like I said, this is SD doll, 62 centimeters tall, so it's SD 10. Um, so what I did, I had 3 centimeter long scale and two centimeter wide and these angles it can be adjusted how you want the scales so it's three centimeter by two that's for SD doll I think that's how the proportion should work out all right I finished the scales so I glued them on so it's look from the back and uh, I stitched these two together I mean I glued them two together and I stitched them to the to the base. 
as you can see, um, the eyelids are hiding here. So they're all hiding under. I already prepared the first buckle. So this buckle is going to go on the back. Um, so what I did, I just thread this through. Um, the, I don't know the tongue it's called. And just stitched it here by hand. You can glue it, no problem at all. I just decided I want some detail there. <clears throat> Even I don't think you'll be able to see it because this will go on the back like that so it's gonna hang from the back part here and we're gonna attach the strap here as well so these little buckles they are already available uh, on eBay and Aliexpress they're called mini buckles the loads of them different style different colors so it's not gonna be any problem really finding them uh, but if you struggle, I, I can just ask in the comment and I'll link them. Uh, they come different sizes. Um, this particular one is uh, 2 centimeters by 1.2. And so what I usually do, I take the big needle like that. Uh, so just make a hole somewhere uh, like here. Not in the middle, but these straps, but they don't need to be long. I just left the lengths. Put this tongue in that hole you just made, and this will secure it. Put this under and put this one in the bottom. Another tail, and just make sure it's all. And then you can glue these two together or just stitch them. So I attach the strap to the front. And this is the strap without the buckle. So this is the front of the armor. And that's how it looks like. You can cut any shape really, but I thought this better. So this side goes on top. And just use needle and thread and attach it. I attached the first one so as you can see that the tail i cut quite a lot of the tail you literally need a tiny amount the reason i left it here is because it's easier to thread through the tongue so same manner um, just attach it here and stitch it so the buckles attached so that's the back i even put the little note what is it so that's a little rivets nail head rivets you don't have to do it but i think it adds um, some touch to the armor they come in different sizes there is a smaller ones here which i used on msds this is a bit bigger ones i think they are I don't remember three millimeter something like this so <clears throat> what i want to do is just put them the way here and maybe just uh, one here, here. To be honest, you can add them anywhere you want, even on the ends here, but um, I don't have many of them. I think it's about 50. So, and they're quite easy to attach. They've got like a little, um, I don't know, spikes. Spikes, and you just press them on and you can use pliers just to oh hammer anything so I, I do it by hand to be honest because it's leather so it's quite easy to push them down so the rivet side did to the front and to the back Mm, but as I said, you don't have to do it. Now the buckles. So you can connect them now or you can connect them on the door just for the purpose of the uh, demonstration. So what I did, I just 
uh, use the needle again and cut the hole uh, in one of the straps here. So probably what I did, you just need to kind of eyeball it. Depends how you want it. You can have a few holes in here anyway, but I just one gonna be okay for me. So somewhere here. From inside out. If you got no cord, just use the ribbon. So that's the ball I hid it under it. Same this side. Here is a completed armor. This is SD size doll. Behind him are uh, tall uh, MSDs, 52 centimeters tall. So I made the um, armor with the same principle really with the eyelets and rivets and so on and lacing. So this is how it looks like. And you can see there is buckles. And same with this one. So it's good buckles and so this one. If you have any questions please ask below and I'll try to answer them. I hope you all enjoy making this outfit and it is very straightforward thank you for watching bye